You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, this is Inkdependence and I'm Mike and this is the Conklin Word Gauge. The Conklin Word Gauge is a pen that has been, well, the design has been around since the 1930s. This new iteration was given to me for review by Yaffa, which is the distributor of Conklin Pens, and they will be sponsoring a review of a pen exactly similar to this one, so stick around until the end or check the description. All right, so the outside of this pen is, I think, a very attractive and kind of serious looking pen. This does come in three different colors. You've got this black with gunmetal accents that I have here. You've also got sort of a mottled blue and a mottled green and white that's got a lot of white and some like speckles of green. Uh, I think this is probably the best looking one of those three, but that's going to be down to personal preference, of course. All right, so up at the top, you have sort of a rounded top. You don't have a finial or anything. It's one solid piece. You have a very nice clip that's uh, finished in gunmetal. I've had this for... Uh, like six months now Woo! Uh, from the before times and uh, it's got this very nice clip here it's got this nice uh, uh, cap ring cap band and also this trim ring down here below the ink window and I haven't seen any problems with the plating or anything like that so that's a good sign because I keep reaching for this pen the clip itself is a fairly heavy solid clip here doesn't have any like the folded stuff down there that you see on some cheaper clips and that sort of thing it's got this nice spring under here which has to go into this cap and then around and so you get this nice spring action it's very nicely articulated it can uh, accommodate like jeans if you need it to or a shirt pocket or whatever it has not had any sign of loosening up although like, I haven't been going anywhere for the last several months so it hasn't <laughs> left the house that much um, down here you see you have this nice cap band immediately after that you have the inked window which is the sort of defining feature of this pen it is the word gauge, and this is your word gauge, starting up here with 5,000 words and going down here to 1,000 words before, you know, petering out and there's no more window. Uh, I think this is definitely inaccurate. Don't bet your, your life on how many words you can write with this, but it is a fun little gimmick and a, a thing that makes that ink window look more interesting for sure. Otherwise, you just have this big empty ink window, and I think that would be less attractive by far. Uh, here you have... Word gauge and made in Italy inscribed, and I have read that the Conquin Crescent is made in Florence, Italy, and I have no particular reason to think that this one isn't. Uh, then down here you have the piston knob. This is not a blind cap or anything. There's nothing squirrely going on with this. It's just a knob that works the piston. It is also a fairly tight, uh, fairly tight knob, and the piston is not loose or anything. So I haven't had any problem with this turning on its own. In fact, like it's got a little tiny bit of play. You can see my fingers moving. That's how much play there is in the end. Um, and it's smooth. So I've heard some people say, oh, I might have a hard time gripping that. I, I haven't ha found that to be the case. It's big enough that I can get my fingers on it and twist it. Um, and stiff enough that it's not going to do that in your pocket, which is great. Okay, let's open this guy up. And uh, the cap. This is a fairly weighty cap, really. It's got some, you can see some metal pieces in there. I think that's to, to articulate this clip. Then here... You have the section, which has a nice lip at the end so your fingers don't slip off of this thing. It's got a few little screw threads, and I should notice, or I should mention, rather, that this comes off in about one half of a revolution. Like, one half of a, a half a turn, it comes off, which is very nice. Like, these threads feel great. And that was one of the, the things that struck me when I first got this pen and opened it. I was like, oh, that's, that's quality right there. Okay. Then, uh, this section is a really nice diameter. It goes from 9.9 .9 millimeters down here to about 11 up here at the top. And so where I grip this pen is probably kind of my perfect 10, 10 and a half millimeter uh, section. So this is a very comfortable pen for me to write with. Then the nib, I'm fairly certain these are all Yovo nibs these days, but this is definitely a custom done for Conklin. You can see the Conklin, like, crescent cutout there for the breather hole. It's not just a hole, it's a, it's a cutout. This is a medium nib, and you'll find that information here on the very side. You can probably see the tiny M right there, uh, but that's 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 it. That's where you'll find it. It's not on the top of the nib. It's over here on the side. This nib does run fine, so if you enter to win it or uh, are going out shopping for these, uh, maybe uh, take that into consideration. This is, it says it's a medium, but it's more like a Japanese medium than a Western medium for sure. It's pretty fine. You'll see that in the writing sample here in a few. All right, that's as much as I can take this pen apart. You can pull the nib and feed if you need to. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> because that would be a, a, a big mess, uh, but nothing else comes apart on this pen. It's a, it's a piston filler, so this is all one piece. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at it next to a bunch of other pens and then do a writing sample and then talk about the giveaway a little bit. All right, 
hang loose. All right, so here are a wide variety of pens. You have down here the Caveco Sport, which is a little pocket pen, the Pilot Prayer, which is a slightly less small pen, but also kind of pockety, the Franklin Christoph Model 46, which is one of my favorite uh, 40, uh, Franklin Christoph models. You've got the Platinum 3776, the Twisby Eco. This is the Conklin Crescent, or sorry, Conklin Word Gauge. Then you've got the uh, Twisby 580 ALR. That's the Prussian blue one. This is the uh, the Lamy All-Star, the Diplomat Arrow, the Narwhal School Kill, and then the Twisby VAC 700 uh, as the biggest and longest pin in this ma in this lineup. And as you can see, this Conklin fits right in the middle. Like this is a very, very common size of pen. So if you have another pen in this sort of group, you've got one that you can approximate the size of this one. All right. Um, I will say this is a little bit heavier, I think, than some of these other pens uh, because, uh, I don't know, it's just got some weight to it. It's ready to go, man. This is a, this is a good pen. All right. Let's take the caps off of these guys and see uh, how they relate there. All right, so here they are all uncapped. Kavega Sport, Prera 46, 3776, Eco Word Gauge, uh, 580 ALR, All Star Arrow, School Kill, and 700. And you can see that the Word Gauge still fits kind of right there in the middle. It's slightly shorter than the two Twi Twisbees, the Eco and the 580 on either side, and a bit longer than the 3776, but still a very average size of pin, I think. Uh, when we're talking about sizes and such as well, I should mention that this is actually a very comfortable pen to hold in your hand. Uh, it fits my hand perfectly well. You can post it, uh, but if you post it, it goes from uh, it goes from being 17 grams up to being 30 grams, and that's actually very heavy. And quite a quite a lot of that weight is right here in the end of the cap, so it does overbalance it a bit for me, and I like it way better uh, unposted. All right, let's do a writing sample and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so this is the Conklin, uh, Conklin word gauge. I keep wanting to say crescent. I've got a crescent sitting here. It keeps confusing me. There you go. Conklin word gauge. This is a medium nib. And as I said before, this, uh, this medium nib does feel, feels kind of fine. So uh, take that into consideration. Uh, you can see that this pen has no problem keeping up. This ink is Diamine Chopin. from their music collection. And this ink is really great in this pen. In fact, I think this is my second fill of this ink in this pen because I like it so much. It's beautiful blue black and it flows magnificently. This is not a particularly uh, dry or wet nib. It seems like it's pretty well in the middle and that's good. I like a pen that's kind of in the middle. It makes all these other inks accessible to it. Uh, and as you can see here, it is, uh, it is. It has no problems at all. This is this is a good nib, and I dig it. Okay, so let's talk briefly about pros and cons for this one. Um, this one is uh, doesn't come in very many colors. So if you don't like the blue or the green or this black and gunmetal, you ain't gonna like the look of this pen. So that's that bit. Uh, that bit. One of the pros is that it does come with a bunch of different nib options, everything from extra fine to stub, and it also includes the option of the OmniFlex nib, which I hear is new and improved, and I haven't actually used. I'm not really a flex writer, so uh, that one doesn't super appeal to me, but I have heard from people that that new OmniFlex nib is quite nice. Um, it is a good size, as you can see here, and uh, I think it actually has a really good feel to it. This um, this unique, uh, strong, unique resin, which I don't, I don't know what that means, but this strong, unique resin does give it a good feel. It feels like it feels kind of feels hard. Like sometimes you get a a, pl a a plastic pen, and it's like it's it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel sturdy. This feels this feels sturdy. Like it's gonna last. I like the weight of this pen, uh, which is uh, I think pretty uh, pretty good. And also uh, I really like the grip. I think that this grip section is the right size. And also I really like this little lip at the bottom. It's good. And I think that does keep uh, the pen uh, wet as well because I imagine I can't see much inside of this cap, but I do see a sort of stop there. And I imagine this 
butts up against it. And so that keeps the uh, the air chamber up here fairly low, or fairly small, rather, I should say. And uh, I've put this pen in a, sh in a drawer for like weeks at a time. I've been waving this around for a while and uh, no problems writing up again. So that's a really good feature. It's got good ink flow. It's got a good cap seal. And uh, I have no doubt about those things. Um, it's also got a nice filling system with this, uh, this piston. It's got a good piston in here. And uh, I think also this ink window is very nice. It's kind of a gimmick, but I think if you had an ink window this big and it didn't have something on it, it would be like it would look boring, right? So I'm glad that it's got a little something on there. Uh, the price for this sort of varies wildly. The manufacturer's suggested retail price of this thing is uh, 145 bucks. Uh, so the Misrip is 145, but uh, I've seen it online right now as low as like 72, and it seems like the co more common street price is around 116. Uh, and that is a little bit of a con for this pen because at the 116, there's a bunch of other pens in that range. At 145, there's a bunch of other pens in that range. You're getting up to like gold nib territory for a lot of like pilots and uh, platinums and things like that. At 72 bucks, I think this pen is kind of a no-brainer. Like, this is a very good pen for $72. Or even uh, even at 100, uh, 115, 116, that's still pretty darn good value, I think. Um, I have had a good experience with this pen and, uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, all right, so let's talk about giveaways. Here's how you give away or how you enter to win this pen. Uh Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, definitely be, be subscribed. Check the check the, the description for you know full 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 details and stuff. All right, that's it. I will see y'all later. Peace out.